Welcome back. We are here on Ether looking at the cryptocurrency market. And this is going to be my daily forecast for Friday, October 30th, 2020. If you'd like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button in order to see our newest videos. We have added a new feature to our channel, which is a trading signal at, at Patreon. And you can click the link below in order to uh, join that trading system. So let's uh, get to it. So we'll start out by looking at Bitcoin. And as you can see, we rallied quite significantly today and broke down. So it has been quite a um, it has been a quite choppy day, to be very honest. At the moment, we're trading at 13,504. And um, well, is more of the same. We're technically trading sideways and we have been trading sideways for uh, in the same range for now the last uh, four trading sessions. And uh, last week, we we're also basically trading technically sideways. We nudged up a little bit, but we are still trading sideways. We are in the highs of 13,870 and we are in the lows of around uh, 12,633. So we do expect this market to go lower. And the reason why I say that is because the RSI is quite significantly oversold, the overbought, sorry. So we're at 73, that is our, our bot. And uh, we can also look at the other technical indicators. They are also showing signs of weakness, especially the, the, the stochastic is basically showing signs of turning around and also the CCI. The MACD is still above the signal line. It's not indicating that it's going to cross anytime soon, but as soon as the RSI, the stochastic really turns to the downside, uh, we are going to see this market go lower question is whether or not we break these lows. That will be the question. We may just go to, to these lows of 12,633 and then bounce from there and go higher. But at this point, entering this market for, with a buy is just too risky. We are overbought and to enter a market when you are in an overbought situation, it is not a very good idea. What you want to see in this market is a pullback if we break this line, then we'll go towards the 50 million average, but at least see a pullback and then a round up in order to enter this market. So at this point, this is not a market uh, I'm interested in buying or selling because we're clearly in an uptrend. And we do have a um, trend line here, which will act as additional support if we break down. So this is just buying the dips, um, waiting for this market to get as low as possible in order to buy it. So we have a um, support line here. We'll have these additional support areas here, uh, which were previous resistant. So there's no reason to think that this market will collapse. This market will uh, almost guarantee go higher. But at this moment, we need a pullback in this market. If we rally from here, we need to break the top of uh, of uh, Thursday's session and uh, then we'll go and look for even higher we need to actually go to the weekly in order to see this so we are at the top here we are going to go significantly higher if we break this level but I do believe we need a pullback towards uh, the trend line in order to go to these highs and then we're talking about even 15 and 16 and even up to 19,000. So Bitcoin has done extremely well uh, all the way since uh, since uh, this is all the way since March. We have been in a, a fairly significant move to the upside. And if we manage to break from here, then we'll go even higher, maybe break the all time highs. So you look at Ethereum. So I need to go to the daily chart again. We can see that we have rallied uh, uh, on Thursday session. We are above the trading uh, the 50 moving average. There's no clear sign that we are going to break the 50 moving average. It seems very uh, supportive. Uh, we have been here for quite some time, and this should be uh, the bottom of this market. If we break below that, we have additional area here, which will act as uh, support. And then we also have the 200 moving average. So. 
we will have this entire area here will act as support. We'll also have the 200 moving average, and we have the 50 moving average, and this area here as support. So there's no reason for this market to break down. We have been trading sideways for quite some time. We are actually in the middle of that range. So we are in the highs of 484, and we are in the lows of 306. So we're right in the middle. But if we manage to uh, to clear the tops here, then that opens the door to these these highs of 482. So keep that in mind. We need to rally above this, these um, these these um, candlesticks here in order to confirm that we are going to these highs. No interest in basically selling this. If we have a pullback towards the 50 moving average and uh, it rallies from there, that will be an additional signal that we are going to go higher in this market. If you look at the technical indicators, we are right in the middle in the RSI. We are at the 52. The CCI is basically turning around. That is a really good signal. And But the stochastic and the MACD are looking fairly bearish. We need these two um, these two indicators to basically turn around, similar to what is happening to the CCI at this point. So, as well as Bitcoin, just technically wait in order to get the signal to buy into this market. So, hope you find this video helpful. You're welcome to support the channel by clicking here and subscribe button. Hit the like, hit the like button and the bell button in order to see our newest videos. Good luck and thank you very much. Thank you.